Okay, guys. So we are continuing from the last problem. So in the last problem, we found the PDF function, which was 96 x square and 1 minus 2x, and x is 0 to 1 by 2. Actually, x can be other values also, but for them, it's simply zero. So I'm not writing that. Okay. I mean, drawing like this, zero otherwise. Okay, which is a very trivial thing. Okay. Fine. So now. Uh, in this video, we are going to first understand how to find the CDF. The CDF is found by this formula. As I said, that CDF is probability till that point. You find the area from 0 to x, fx dx. So that will be CDF. So I told you that CDF is probability that random variable is, is smaller than certain value. Okay. So this will become 0 to x and this is x square 1 minus 2x dx it becomes 96 x square is x cube by 3 minus 2x into x square will be <coughs> uh, 2x cube so 2x to the power 4 by 4 of course this will be good in integration for solving these problems so 96 so we will get x cube by 3 minus x to the power 4 by 4, 2 minus 0. Okay. So our CDF becomes fx equal to 96 x cube by 3 minus x to the power 4 by 2. Okay. So that is our CDF. Now you can cross check your answer whenever you get CDF. Since CDF is the probability till that point where you find it here, suppose you find f of 0 0.2, that means you will get a number which is equal to probability till point 2 from 0 and so on. So it means CDF will be always 0 for the initial point because at initial point probability will be 0 and CDF will be 1 at final point. So you can check that. So we will find f of 0. f of 0 will be simply 0, which makes sense. And f of 1 by 2 should be equal to 1. Okay, we will check that also. 96, 1 by 2 cube is 1 by 8, so 1 by 24 minus 1 by 2 power 4 is 1 by 16, so 1 by 32. So 96 is multiply inside. So 96 by 24 is 4, 96 by 32 is 3. It's one, okay, and that makes a lot of sense because CDF is probability at that point, okay. So suppose you have some random PDF like this, okay, and suppose we have initial point as uh, it can be anything. Okay, suppose we have initial point as let's say A, and it is defined till B. So please understand what CDF is. CDF is area till a general x. So this is CDF. Okay, this is CDF function which is area under the graph of PDF from initial point to general x. Okay, and that's why when you put b here in CDF you get 1. When you put a here you get 0. Okay, so CDF is very important function from the perspective that you can find the property directly by putting the x value in the CDF. But PDF is not like that. In PDF, if you substitute an x value, then you don't get any significant number. Okay, area is significant here. Okay, so this is how we find CDF and the interpretation of CDF. Okay, now we will understand how to find the mean. Okay. If you remember, mean was defined as summation of x px for discrete random variable. And in this case, you can say that x values are infinite. So for each x value, you find the px value and then you keep on adding all those small numbers. That will be nothing but integration. So x fx dx from initial to final point. 
So that will be your mu or expectation. So in this case, I'll find it. So expectation in this case will be x of x. So x minus 6x square 1 minus 2x dx from 0 to 1 by 2. The value of this integral will be expectation. So 96 into 0 to 1 by 2 integral. So this is x cube. So x cube minus 2x to power 4 dx. So 96 x to power 4 by 4 minus 2x to power 5 by 5. 0 to 1 by 2. Okay. So 96. Okay. 1 by 2 to power 4 will be how much? Uh, 1 by 16. 1 by 64 here because 4 is there minus uh, x to the power 5. 1 by 2 to the power 5 is 1 by 32. So 1 by 32 into 2 becomes 1 by 16. 1 by 16 into 5, uh, 1 by 5 is 1 by 18. Okay, I'll see it again. So 1 by 32, so 2 by 32 is 1 by 16, which is 1 by 18. Okay, correct. Now, we have to take LCM. So <coughs> we can multiply by 96 first. Okay, so 96 by 64 minus 96 by 80. Okay, so this becomes 6 by 4 is 3 by 2 minus 6 by 5, which is 15 minus 12 by 15 minus 12 by 10. 15 minus 12 is 3. So 0 0.3 is the mean. Okay? So 0 0.3 is the mean in this case. Okay? So for this PDF, mean is 0 0.3. Okay? You can see that x is defined from 0 to 0.5. Okay? And mean is 0 0.3. Okay? So 0 0.3 minus 0 is 0 0.3. And 0 0.5 minus 0 0.3 is 0 0.2. You can see that it is not a symmetrical PDF. It is not a symmetrical PDF and mean is not the midpoint of 0.5 and 0. Okay? That is just for information because in future we will have so many PDF which, which might be symmetrical and the mean will be simply uh, initial value plus final value divided by 2. Basically the midpoint of two endpoints. But if this is not symmetrical one. Actually, I intentionally took a PDF which is not symmetrical so that we can understand a general PDF. Okay? So in the next video, we will find median and mode for the same PDF. Okay? Thank you so much.